Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bitch Side Podcast channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSB. Like, share as usual, comment on this video, and subscribe most importantly to the channel. Enable notifications to receive all the updates from this match recaps and other content on the channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSB, and welcome to another match recap. And we're talking about the Bundesliga and, of course, round 16 of actions and with six matches, of course, taking place um, today, it, including, of course, Dortmund and Mainz um, drawing one. All we're going to be talking about that, as well as Wolfsburg versus Leipzig. Uh, follow us on social media. I'm at SmartPSP on Twitter, Pitch Side Pod on Instagram, Spotify, Google Podcast, or any other platform to listen to the podcast. And um, or sports. Com. Let's start from Wolfsburg versus Leipzig as I was watching more of that game. Um, it was the, you know, another slip for Leipzig as of late after the loss against Dortmund 3 1 last week. It was another slip away to Wolfsburg this time to all the, despite the decent start they had, of course, um, to the game scoring. Scoring really early um, by uh, Mukiele since the fifth minute, managing to take the lead that early. Wolfsburg didn't really look um, comfortable in the early goings, but then they settled into the game a little bit more as Leipzig grew a little bit more shaky um, in defending, um, in playing out from the back. It was the issue that we talked about against Dortmund last week as they try probably too much to play the ball from the back and they put themselves in certain situations when Wolfsburg were pressuring them. After 15 to 20 minutes, really, Wolfsburg started getting out a little bit and, you know, as the left side of the attack of Leipzig was the more, um, you know, important for them, the right-hand side wasn't exactly um, of the same of the same use. So defensively, that was a side that Wolfsburg attacked and this was a side that Wolfsburg focused on finding the space first, you know, finding the space, of course, a couple of times before managing it to um, equalize via Wout Vergost, one of the best attackers in the Bundesliga at the moment, upping his tally to 11 goals this season. Certainly his, I mean, I'm going to say a contender for the Golden Boot, pretty much, or the top scorer, considering that Lewandowski is pretty much far uh, above everyone, but certainly he's one of the best strikers, and the links for him with Tottenham are certainly deserved. After that, Wolfsburg starting pressing even more, um, you know, forcing a lot of mistakes in the midfield of Leipzig and their defense as well. They really forced them to start slightly being pinned into their defense on a couple of opportunities, of course, for Wolfsburg before um, the, the the end of the first half. The uh, second half certainly started the same way, pretty strong from Leipzig, also, um, you know, scoring early in the second half. They were the most dangerous side, they were the side with the most chances, certainly more shots on target, but they couldn't make up for it. You know, we all know probably that Leipzig had a big problem of efficiency when it comes to attacking, and certainly the fact that they scored thanks to their right wing back and the centre back in Willy Orban certainly translate this situation. Even um, the likes of, you know, Solov coming in um, off the bench didn't exactly help the matters better. Wolfsburg had more possession, just like in the first half, but certainly Leipzig were the most dangerous side. The side two missed a lot of chances overall. This could be, you know, translated as a slip, another slip, and Leipzig refusing another gift and another opportunity to go top of the table. Even momentarily, they should have taken it. This is now going to be setting them um, back, and you know they will now remain uh, one point behind Bayern Munich ahead of their game against Freiburg. And they're not the only one um, side who slipped um, on the day. As in the second game, they're going to be talking about Dortmund slipped again. Um, um, and after what we thought it would be, you know, the, the victory that's going to kickstart their season pretty much in the victory against Leipzig away from home, 3-1, pretty convincing in the second half in particular. They slipped against Mainz, and this was a one-sided game, make no mistake about it. This was a one-sided game, of course, with no bit silver injury. They started with Jude Bellingham alongside Emery Chan. Mainz, you know, defensive all around, they started with 3-5-2, 5-3-2 kind of formation, which is, you know, ultra-defensive as defensive formations could get. Uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, you know, tried a lot in the first half to score, but they couldn't manage that, despite the fact that we're, you know, playing pretty much full, you know, full squad with the likes of Erling Haaland being present and um, and Royce and Jaden Sancho, of course, uh, being there, but they couldn't manage to score 
in the first um, in the first half against a very compact and a very sort of you know crowded kind of um, you know Mainz team in the first half you know Dortmund had 11 shots but they couldn't score anyone from the six that they had on on target it you know it was again a one-sided game as one-sided games could come and in the second half Mainz you know started a little bit better picking Borussia Dortmund on the counter as Borussia Dortmund swarmed them forward looking for the lead Mainz capitalized on one big chance pretty much they had in the second half and Austin Ali put on a brilliant left foot strike from outside um, you know the 18 yard box pretty much around 25 yards out and you know just smashed Boki with it for taking the lead and of course that launched the panic button uh, for Borussia Dortmund McCook coming on for Bellingham which pretty much changed the formation to a 4-1-4-1 um, meaning that you know um, or a 4 you know 4-1-3-2 pretty much um, if you look at it uh, from another perspective with you know um, Holland playing as a centre forward as Mokoko plays his second striker under him and you know Mokoko had a little bit of effect um, being involved heavily in the first goal on the equaliser for Dortmund inside the 73rd minute by Thomas Meunier, a failed clearance from the defence of Mainz gave Thomas Meunier the chance to just smash the ball from just outside the box, or just you know almost inside the box for the equaliser and Dortmund had a golden chance afterwards to you know get the three points and close the gap on the top two on the table Marco Royce missed the penalty in the 76 minutes straight afterwards and the rest of the game of course was Borussia Dortmund panicking scrambling trying to score and um, a winner late on but Mines held on into that point making all the defensive substitutions you could expect three substitutions late on in the game to try and close down and you know save the point and keep the point alive as they couldn't save the lead so they will take a point going on from the signal Iduna Park so it is basically slippery for all in the Bundesliga for both Leipzig and Dortmund missing a big chance for one to go top of the table in Leipzig and for, for Dortmund to close down the gap on the top two of the Bundesliga that's it thank you for watching flash listening um, I was aboard the HD of the PSP like share comment on this video of course most importantly if you're new to the channel give us a subscribe uh, follow us on social media I'm at side PSP pitch side pod on Instagram and Twitter respectively listen to the podcast on Spotify Google podcasts or any other platform or on www we breathe sports.com uh, Kashi. I was your boy, the HD of the PSP, and until next time, I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.